Hello everybody, my name is Nathan, and I am the man with the cartoon obsession. I wasn't sure if I was going to have a chance to make a Halloween adjacent video this year, nor was I sure what I would make it on. Then a few weeks ago I started watching an anime that kind of fits with the spooky theme, so I figured I'd review it. Before we get into that though, I would greatly appreciate it if you could take just a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more animation related content. My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and I'm hoping we can make that happen. Now that I got all that out of the way, let's get into my anime review of Miss Shachaku and the Little Baby Ghost. <laughs> Miss Shachiku and the Little Baby Ghost is an anime series based on the manga of the same name. The anime was produced by Project No. 9 and it was licensed by Crunchyroll here in the West. It currently has one season consisting of 12 episodes and it ran from April 7th, 2022 to June 23rd, 2022. The series follows Fushihara, an office worker who always gets stuck working late and she's always visibly exhausted. One night she hears an ominous voice telling her to leave. <laughs> It turns out that there's a ghost in the office, and her name is Yure. She wants Fushihara to leave because she doesn't want her to work herself to death. Usually in shows, ghosts want people to leave because they're disturbing the resting place. I like that the ghost is actually thinking about the people's well-being in this show. Although, it is kind of sad because it's apparent that Yure died at a young age, and she doesn't want the same to happen to Fushihara. Fushihara takes Yure in, and they also take in a ghost cat named Miyako. The two help Fushihara out however they can, but they also act like they're her children, so they occasionally get themselves into predicaments. <laughs> After finding these two though, Fushihara starts to look less tired, even though she still works late a lot. We also meet Fushihara's neighbor, Satsuki Kurahashi. She's an illustrator who also spends a lot of time working, and she's quick to complain. She has a ghost helping her out as well, her maid Lily. Despite being a child, Lily is the most responsible of the two. I enjoy their dynamic. They argue like an old married couple, but they do care about each other, and they show it often. There's one more ghost girl named Miko. She's a demon who resides in a shrine, and she helps the others out when misfortune falls upon them. She's okay, but she doesn't get introduced until the second to last episode, so there isn't much time to get attached to her. All of these characters are enjoyable when they're together. They play off of each other pretty well, but on their own, they're just okay. The visuals are nice. I like the art style, and of course, all of the ghost girls are adorable. That's the primary appeal of the show, and there's an announcer who even reminds you of that during every episode. The rest of the voice acting is solid, but also kind of standard. This is a very random side note, but I like the sound effects used when the ghosts are walking. I can't really explain why, but it stands out to me. I really enjoy the humor in this show. Yes, it relies on the same jokes a lot, but for whatever reason, a lot of those jokes don't get old for me. Plus, they do try new jokes often enough, and they usually work. Finally, I just like how wholesome this show is. Like I said, I like the fact that the ghost premise is different. It's sweet that Yurei is concerned with Fushihara's well-being, and it's also sweet that Fushihara takes two ghosts in and treats them like they're her own children. I enjoy seeing them spending Halloween and Christmas together, or just spending time together in general. Watching this show gives me a nice cozy feeling. Unfortunately, it's not without its problems. I understand that the ghosts are kids, but they cry way too much. Especially Yurei. She always has tears in her eyes, and I'm barely exaggerating there. I understand she cries because she's concerned, or apologetic, or scared, or any of the normal reasons, but the show relies on it too much. Unlike the jokes, this does get a little old. I'm also confused on a couple of things, like why only certain people can see Yure, but it seems like everybody can see Miyako. Maybe this was explained and I missed it, or maybe that's just how ghosts work and I'm not knowledgeable on the subject. There's also the fact that they show up when they get stuck in a copy machine, but they don't show up in photos. Someone please explain that to me because I don't get it. My biggest problem with the show is the fact that it doesn't take full advantage of its backstories. In the first half or so, we get a lot of backstories from different characters. Those are good, and some can be sad too. I liked where they were going with this, but then they just stopped all of a sudden. There's still a lot of backstory that we miss out on, like what exactly happened to Yurei and her mother, or how Kurahashi met Lily. We don't see a lot of these events happen, and that wouldn't be a problem if the show didn't set it up this way. Sure, you can probably put the pieces together yourself, but if you're going to delve into characters' backstories, give us all of it or give us nothing. Don't start what you can't finish. 
Regardless of these complaints, I still like this show. It's not groundbreaking, but it's a sweet and fun slice of life comedy with just a dash of the supernatural. Overall, I give Miss Shachiku and the Little Baby Ghost a 7 out of 10. It's not as good as other shows of its kind, perhaps, but I still think there's a place for it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any other cartoons, anime, or other animated works that you want me to talk about in the future, please let me know. After all, it's not my channel, it's our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and feel free to check out my social media pages, audition for an outro, and join the official Cartoon Session Discord. The links for all of which are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Like, I'm Shaggy. Ren Rhyme Ruby Roo. And we like to thank you for watching Rock Moon Revolution. <laughs>